Hey folks, howdy. Sean Brock here with you. I've been looking forward to this one. Yeah, say, if you ain't subscribed yet, what's your problem? I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe anyway. Uh, I have a lot of good guitars come through, and this is the kind of stuff that I really like to do, yeah, even if I'm not all that good at it, is to play stuff from up-and-coming builders or builders who have already been around the block several times, the independent builders close near and dear to my heart and not not to say that I don't like Martin or something like that but I really enjoy these and this one here is one I have looked forward to this is from Nathan Wright Wright's Lutheran you can't go wrong with Wright I'm going to say that and this one is for Joshua Young your old lead flat pick over there on the forums. Yes, sir, that's him. The lead flat pick. This is his. Nathan Wright completed in the fall of 2021. So uh, she, well, you heard her. She's got the sound. And guess what? She's going to keep on growing. Man, this thing is absolutely a cannon. If you are interested in this guitar, see the description box and talk with Joshua and uh, he will hook you up with this Nathan Wright D18 Adirondack and uh, Honduran Mahogany hush up over there I don't like that thing let's take a listen to this thing this is a wonderful wonderful instrument and I've talked about Nathan a couple of times on the channel because we have had uh, a few guitars that Nathan had set up or done uh, various re repairs and, and things on. Uh, excellent luthier, and this is the first one of his uh, builds that we've had on, and man, is it tasty. Let's check her out. A little bit of uh, this, that, and the other. Check out the bass on this guitar.
there's such good bass response without being muddy you hear a lot of clarity plenty of attack uh, on the front side of the note I told Joshua I said you know this reminds me uh, in some ways of of Jim Merrill's work it's not an overly uh, it's right there in the middle. It's not an overly heavy guitar. It's not an overly light guitar. It, it errs on the side of, of light. Uh, you know, if you're comparing it to something like a Callings or something like that. Um, but it's not as light as some of, uh, some of the things like a Merrill or, or something like that. But it's light enough to where you get that real good note separation. Every single note, you know, they don't just go run together. Like a, like a commode flushing or something. They don't run together like that. Uh, but there is enough there, there's enough in the body that you've still got good overtones. real good so it, it walks that real nice line of having a really good note separation but not being so dry that you hit a note and it goes boom you're like wait a minute hang on i wasn't ready yet so that's that's a really desirable characteristic of a guitar and to me you know stuff like this Fantastic recording guitar. I, I, tell you, I tell you, man, that is that is really good. That is really good. Clean. Really, really, really good. Let's we'll we'll fool around open again, but let's cape over up. Um golly man. Yeah, I, this guitar just came. And I gave it some time to acclimate and got it out and tuned it up and played a little bit. And uh, man, all it has done is just really get better. Key of A. is nice. are free by the way and you don't lose that bass traveling on up I I got caught up listening to this thing and I forgot where I was at I'm, I'm being honest with you key of B flat the proven brand the proven ground of, of a quality uh, dreadnought guitar <laughs> so 
So notice there, uh, like when I do that going to the four chord, going to the five rather. All those little runs. Um, you don't have to, I know that you have played guitars as a rhythm player. You have played guitars that you uh, pick up and when you get ready to do a run, a G run or a walk up into a chord, you have to, uh, it, it kind of messes with you because you have to go between two different uh, sectors of force in your right hand to get those runs to come out because you're playing rhythm and then you go to make a run and you're like, well, wait, what happened there? I, I couldn't hear my run, you know. Um, that annoys me. That bothers me. And this guitar, you can make that stuff and you don't have to change, alter your right hand uh, picking technique or your pressure. They just pop out. good in B flat it does good everywhere I mean just go ahead get the checkbook out uh, but we'll just keep on going I mean that's what we're supposed to do key of B to big, subtle to big. And and there's nothing at all. I mean you you're in control. up on the subtleties. Just a real nice, real nice. I'm proud of this young man right here. I'm telling you. He is, uh, I know he's developing quite a waiting list and um, I follow him on, on uh, the Book of Face. And uh, I, I had high expectations and high hopes of him and heard awful good things and seen real good setup work done by him. And uh, so I, I had high expectations. And man, I tell you, he has not, uh, he has not let me down. I let my B string down too far. That was me though, letting the B string down. So fifth fret here.
let's check colors up here and see. hard to get that out of a, uh, a newer build it is it's a lot of times uh, that that has to come with with uh, some age of the instrument and like I say this is you know it's got a few months on it now but but this instrument's not even a year old yet and uh, it's just got it it's got it right there <laughs> color a lot of real nice stuff going on um, lyrical trebles but they're not uh, they're not so mushed up that they don't stick out that's a that's nice Okay, well, let me tell you what I know. Nathan Wright, uh, 2021, sold by the lead flat pick, Joshua Young. Very nice burst on this, I think. I like that. I dig it. I dig it very much. And this is an Adirondack top, Adirondack bracing, forward shifted scalloped. This is... Uh, stiff kind of stuff. I I did my my personal investigation on on that, and uh, this is this is good stuff. Good looking, good looking top. Good bracing. Um, not not under braced. It's it's braced just about like you would want something because it's not bellying up. You know behind the bridge, it's got the the healthy very slight curvature that you want to see in a guitar you know when you start seeing something that gets a major uh, hump or wave you you know it's under braced and this has got just a real healthy look uh, in the bridge area but when you look on the inside the the bracing is is so clean the craftsmanship is so clean and uh, it's not over braced so i'll say that for you um Long saddle, bone saddle, long saddle. Uh, Ebony Bridge, of course. Uh, what we believe is antique acoustics uh, bridge pins in this. Uh, Non-slotted, of course. Solid pin. Here's some mahogany. Honduran. Real good. Real nice. Nice stuff. Nice stuff there from uh, Nathan Wright. Here's the uh, treble side, and uh, the K and K installed. K and K pick pick up installed there. A uh, Eb well ebony fretboard, of course. Uh, volute on the back of the neck there. Oh, I'm getting old, man. Real nice volute. Nathan likes to carve volutes, and he gets to carving the neck, and a volute appears, and he's hesitant to carve it off, just hesitant to cut it off. I understand that. Uh, these are Godos, 
Dodo Tuners. Um, Ebony Fingerboard Evo. Evo Fritz. One and three quarters at the nut. Two and five sixteenths at the bridge. Should have said that when I was talking about the bridge, shouldn't I? Bone nut. Uh, and it's that vintage style, you know, that curves around there, not not where they just saw you off flat and maybe you hung out to dry. Real good job, man, S shaping the headstock on this. This is real cool. It's got the, you know, it's got the, the way they, the corners are there. Real nice. Um, one three quarters, bone nut. Truss rod, yes, does have a truss rod. Mahogany neck. That is a Coca-Cola overlay on the headstock. That's pretty. You like that? Huh? I like that. I like that myself. I'm, of course, I'm partial to Coca-Cola. I'm I'm partial to everything. You know me. If it costs money and it's in and it's in a guitar, I'm partial to it. Um, I'm quite sure this is a 16 radius. Real nice setup. Uh, this is a, a you know, kind of a, a flat picker's action. Uh, she's not going to buzz on you, and it's not. I mean, if you play it hard enough, it'll. But. It, uh, it's the way I like my stuff where you have to really dig in you know you have to dig in to get it to buzz um, truss rod I mentioned that there's, there's something I'm forgetting to mention strap button at the heel and uh, if you're interested in it see the description box and talk to Joshua Young and he will he will put this right in your home uh, I think he'll probably post it uh, on on a couple of the forums and I will put the links in there but you can email him you can call him you uh, can text him if you want to discuss this guitar and the possibilities of picking it up like I said I know Nathan's got a list going uh, a waiting list so if you're looking to jump line uh, I'll vouch that this is a this is one worth jumping jumping on right now uh, if if you so wish to have the cash in hand and make a deal on it uh, if you don't have the cash in hand get on that list I mean something but this this guy he's really going places so uh, see the description box talk to Joshua Young and uh, we'll play another one on it and I appreciate you guys watching mm -hmm.